Right. My name is Michael Cargill, and I'm the actually the CEO and president of Central Texas Gunworks. Yes, we're actually going to unveil a Robocoin, uh, Robocoin Bitcoin ATM here at Central Texas Gunworks. And the, the thing about this Robocoin um, ATM is it's actually going to update real time. So it's actually going to update on the minute. Unlike some of the other Bitcoin machines that you've seen in the past um, that update once a day, we will update every minute. This is actually the first uh, Bitcoin ATM in the world in a gun store. So this is the unveiling of the very first Coin Vault ATM powered by Robocoin deployed in Austin, Texas. Do you have any fears or worries uh, about Bitcoin after you know the Mt. Gox news of Mt. Gox going you know going into bankruptcy recently and people's fears of Bitcoin beginning to uh, tumble? Do you have any worries about that? No, just like anything that we've um, come across, any new technology, just like the internet. You had your banking system, um, they actually started doing online banking on the internet, and you had a, a bank actually use, lose millions of dollars. So I expect that there are going to be some bumps in the road. You know, So um, we expect there are going to be some problems, and there are going to be some companies that fall by the wayside. You know, That's the, uh, the part of doing business, and that's you know, the cost that you pay of doing something new or venturing out in a different technology. So what we've got is we've got an ID scanner. The barcode scanner sits here. So either using your electronic cell phone wallet or a paper wallet, it will scan that to be able to either redeem a paper wallet for cash. The cash is dispensed through the cash dispenser here. And then, uh, of course, your palm scanner, once you've identified yourself, then you'll be able to consummate the transaction print out a paper wallet or otherwise a receipt from the receipt dispenser. So how does the palm scanner work? That the palm scanner basically is the metrics piece to be able to give uh, consistent human identification to who's doing the transaction to be compliant to the KYC piece. KYC is know your customer. And it's very important as we launch Robocoin's Coin Vault ATMs uh, into the marketplace and we bring legitimacy to cryptocurrency that we're compliant to the federal guidelines as it relates to having to know who your customer is to be able to prevent people doing illicit activity on the Cohen Vault ATM terminals with cryptocurrency just as you have currency in cash if you're taking out more than ten thousand dollars you have to fill out the appropriate uh, documentation to uh, notify the government that you're doing large value transactions and so the same thing is going to be true as currency transitions into something other than the fiat currency or hundred dollar bills with cryptocurrency it's electronically a transmitting uh, value so you have to be able to know who these customers are so for every transaction will there be like a palm scan or palm scan every transaction the first time you'll register on the system with your state or federally issued ID and then also with your palm and you'll have a pen and you'll use a cell phone number to be able to use SMS messaging so the terminal can actually communicate to you in real time. There's one company called uh, BitPay which have actually caused us a, a few little problems. Um, we actually had to shut our, stop, we actually had to stop selling firearms on our website because of Austin, not Austin, because of BitPay. And what I've done was I've actually got with a company in Chicago which they're creating a program uh, for me which will allow me to sell guns on the website using Bitcoin again. Um, actually BitPay, what they did was they actually totally uh, closed my account because they didn't want to deal with firearms and ammunition. You know, and, and Bitcoin, this is, all about, this is all about financial freedom. You know, if you're getting into Bitcoin, you shouldn't have a problem with the gun store actually selling firearms you know because you're still going to come into the gun store you're going to fill out the 4473 we're going to call the FBI and do the background check so a person's getting the background check done on them there shouldn't be an issue you know with us selling firearms so you know I'm very disappointed in bit pay uh, because Bitcoin is about financial freedom